Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday and I have a new toy to play with. So we're going to do that. I have lots of prints that need a little something more. So I, th I thought we'd just play with that. See where we get to today. Let's say hi and hugs first to Connie, Ellen, Mary, and Rebecca. Um, and let's just, let's just get going. I'll try and keep an eye on the time because I do get a little lost in the jelly plating. I get, um, I just get all, all sorts of, you know, distracted. So, okay. So first I have my, um, I have my 12 by 12 jelly plate and we're going to get that out. Um, I wanted to just take it out on camera so that if you're new to jelly plating, you can kind of see um, that jelly plate comes, let's put that up there. The jelly plate comes with two pieces of acrylic on it. I hope you can see that. And so I just take off the top and leave the bottom one on. It's just, I don't know. It then doesn't stick to the paper underneath is most of the reason for that. Okay, I'm going to put the packaging aside. Okay, so just to introduce you a little bit, the other plates that I have, this one is, gosh, it doesn't say what size it is, but it's like a, it's probably 8 by 10-ish. Yeah, I think it's about eight by 10. And it doesn't cover a whole piece of paper. So this was my original jelly plate that I first got. I was gonna see if I could show you. Yeah, like this, like this print here. See how it's like, it's white around the edges. That's because I did it on this plate, which is why I got the nine by 12, because it will, a whole piece of paper fits on it. Okay, so there's that. Then my pal Carrie is doing some jelly printing on his channel and he had such a good idea. So I have one of these little three by five jelly plates and he uses it kind of like a palette and has it on the side. So I thought I'd pull this out and, and maybe do that today. I've, I've never used it that way. Would never have thought of it. So good idea, Carrie. So we have that one out. And then the other one that I had was a six inch round plate. So I think you can see that. Um, it's an interesting one too. I mean, it's, you know, you can put big circles on. So, you know, maybe we'll, I'm going to get it open. And then if we want it, great. If we don't, that is fine too. Okay, we'll get it out though and put it up here above. Okay, and then I got something new. These, it's a different brand. It's called Gel Press Petites. And there's a circle, there's a square, and there's a triangle. So, haven't even broken them open yet. They're that new. Oh, and they've got a, got a sticker, okay. So it's about, I don't know, three, three inches it says. So I thought we'd get those out and have a bit of a play with those. And, and just see, see what we come up with. I don't know. Um, I was trying to think, there were a couple of things in Carrie's video that were kind of, aha moments or something I learned. Let's see. Hopefully they'll come to me. The palette was the big one. Oh, the other thing was he um, brayered some black on a, on a print and grungied it up. And oh my gosh, that made such a difference. Like, like for instance, this one, I don't know. Let's, let's just try it. Uh, do I have black out? Yep. Somewhere. Okay, I'm using up some of my old paints again. Carrie said he tends to overuse paint. Oh, 
Not as bad as your pal Gail, I'm going to say. <laughs> Jeez, I really do. I really do kind of. Oh, that's dark purple is what that is. Well, and it's not spreading. It's interesting. Oh, see, that's why I end up getting too much paint. But maybe I can... We'll see. We'll see where we get to with all this, guys. I don't know. I'm just I'm just having a play. And Carrie just lightly kind of went over and grungied it up a little bit. I feel like I need to not have that on drop paper and then it wouldn't it wouldn't scoot around as much. Okay, as Carrie said, just dirty it up a bit. I like that. Okay, well, there's an extra layer on that one, which is really what jelly plating is all about, just layers and layers. Okay, I like that better than when I started. I'm gonna, I've got a dollar store uh, shower curtain on my floor and that's what I'm going to lay the papers on. Okay, well do we have something that could use a little purple? Maybe this this one. Um, okay, we might we might need a little more. And um, I really want to play with my little my little bits there. Oh my goodness, this paint is so goopy. Oh, I should have maybe a spray bottle. I didn't grab one, but okay. So, what if I hope you can, yep, yeah, you can see on, I was I'm still learning my, my new space here. Okay, um, I would like to maybe put a little design in this. I don't know. These are just some Hobby Lobby stamps. That's kind of cool. Let's just stamp that on there like a stamp. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Um, I have some foam stamps on order, but they haven't come yet, and I couldn't wait to play, so there you go. Ooh, I like using these as a stamp. That's real fun. So, I have another thought that I want to try which is instead of brayering it on here, um, just pressing it into the paint and see what happens. Like, let's put a tiny bit more paint on there. So I'm videoing early in the morning. We're going to go to my granddaughter's eighth grade basketball oop um, this afternoon. So we need to need to travel. Oops. Okay. I just want to see what happens if we just press that on there. Hmm. Well, let's just, let's just put it down somewhere. It just makes a lighter one. So I think I like rolling it out better. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm making this um, this print any better, but 
I am experimenting. So, you know, if you hate it, you just keep adding layers to it. That's that's what I do anyway. Um, okay, well, let's see. You can tell I have, I have no plan whatsoever for this day. I just... I wanted to do a mixed media Monday, which I needed to do in order to have my have my weekend. We're gonna go back over to my granddaughter's high school basketball game on Saturday. So I just kind of wanted to get all my videos done. And I've been wanting to play with these. They came like five days ago and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. Mm -hmm. I just want, this was another one that was on that small jelly plate. So I just want some color around it. Okay. Well, that's ugly. <laughs> Let's let's let that dry and see if we can do something else to it. Ew. Yeah, it's ugly. Okay, so I'm going to grab, I have close here some, um, some envelopes. Let's see. Maybe, what are those? No. I don't know why. I don't know why I can never find what I want right when I want it. Okay. Um, my thought here is let's let's put a little bit on this. Um, I need a rolly off page too. Where's okay? So this page is gonna be my rolly off page. Scooch everything. Oh, I wanted to show you those too. Okay. Okay. My brayer was getting real goopy. Okay, let's do let's do a stencil of some sort. This is just right on top, so I'm gonna do it. This is a Kathy Holden stencil. You know, I always tell you how much I love these. Um so, if we put that over like that, I also am going to grab, where can I, real quick, I'm going to grab some tags. I also grabbed some tags that are like backgrounds and stuff that need something more. So... Let's see. Just grab them out and see. Um, like, let's put some on this one. This is just this is just a wipe off one that we did when we were doing painty papers. And I'm thinking if I just press that on, it'll give it a little, little another layer. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Let's see, I think I could get a little more on the bottom there. Yes. And a little more right here. Yeah, how pretty is that? Okay, I feel like that's my first success today. <laughs> Other than that, not so much. Okay, let's just, I like to use this too. So let's get another piece of paper real quick. And I'm just going to lay that down. I mean, you might as well use the paint, right? Yeah, it just leaves a little something and we'll just keep adding to that. Okay, and then I wanted to take this envelope and maybe like this. Get some of that paint up. Okay. 
Ooh, that's cool. Um, okay, I'm about tired of the purple, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, let's use a light. This is, I don't know, it's got a label over it, but it's kind of, it's got a little yellow tinge to it, but it's really mostly, it's like a cream kind of. Just to clean it off a little bit. Once again, super goopy. Ooh, but I think it might be kind of cool. Ooh, that is cool. Okay, I'm gonna use this paper and just go over it like that. So not a tutorial here, not anything like that. It's more of me just turning on the camera and playing. This little thing is about the size of a three by six tag, which is so cool. Okay, so let's see if we get up most of what we've laid down there. We'll see. Yep. Okay, it's kind of a gloppy, I don't know, but we'll, we'll take it. Let's also clean off this. Because I think I can do the upper part of that. Um, the upper part of the tag with this. Okay, let's just, I'm going to take out the string. And let's just go like that. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay, well, that is ugly too. <laughs> we have one cool thing we've done today, and that's it. I don't know. This one's yet to be seen. We're going to use that some more as we go along. Yikes. Okay. How's my white acrylic? Ooh. That is really... Ugh. It was really close. Giant crust on there. Okay, it's good though. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, just all these old paints that I've had for like years and years. It's like I just need to. Okay, um, I want to put those on something. Let's see. I'm not thrilled about this one, so let's, I don't think I can ruin it. <laughs> okay, let's see if I just press these, press this on, what happens? It's not horrible. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more white on there. I need um, some sort of a, oh boy, that's a lot. Well, we'll put some on here too. <laughs> you guys, how not to jelly plate 101. If anything, I'm showing you, don't worry about it. Just have some fun. Just get painty and have some fun. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay, that kind of lightened that up. I'm kind of liking that. All right. All right, so I'll put that over here. 
And then let's let's do this. I don't know what I want to do with it. Um let's just put it on this paper. Just using up the paint really is all I'm doing here. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of smushed it around a little bit. And as you can see, I'm totally not used to using this. I'm used to using just the big jelly plate. That's pretty cool though. Kind of like how those turned out. All right, so now, oop, I left a little something on there. Okay, um, let's do a big stencil on this one. We just have to decide what color. I kind of am feeling this color. Hauser Light Green, it's called. Okay, let's find a big stencil. Um, let's use this one. Like I say, my Kathy Holden stencils are right on top of everything. I've I'm in the in the process kind of of um Okay, I'm going to try Carrie's technique of using this as a palette and putting it on your main plate so that you don't make it so thick, so that I don't make it so thick. Oops, see? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yep, she's thick all right. Okay. We'll just... We'll just do the best we can, huh? With what we've got, which is me. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Oh, I'm in the I'm in the kind of the process of moving things from this space that are journal related to over there and then also, um, getting all my mixed media stuff over here. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm in flux, let's just say. This one is a canthus. I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to put this... Okay, it won't have it at the bottom, so maybe I'll just do this and then I'll lay it down at the bottom and try and get that too. So I'm just squishing it into the into the stencil as much as I can. Okay. Not gonna show you yet. Because I wanna move this down and put it here. I'm probably at the very bottom of what you can see, but I just wanted to get the whole print. Okay, cool. And Carrie mentioned he doesn't really clean his stencils, neither do I. I feel like it makes it stronger as well. How about that? Now that's pretty, and I would count that as done. However, I might do some do. I, I'm going to put it in the doodle pile because I think with black pen around these little shapes would be cool too. Okay. So we did that. Let's see if what we have that we might like to pull that off. This one, I it's I like the shiny, but I don't. I don't love it. So, we're going to, let's see. We need, let's do this. Let's do our same stencil and get some of this off on our envelope. And I'm going to put it 
do this on here. Give it a bit of a rub. Okay, and this here. And get the paint off of that. Meanwhile, this is drying, so theoretically it should come up on another pull. Um, so maybe I don't, I don't think I want that. Um, let's see what this would do. This is one of those painty papers. I actually took a little bit of it for my scraps diary. But let's see what happens if we put a bit of white on this. I'm going straight to my plate. I need to go on this because this is not coming out very well and might have, I might get too much. Okay. Because you're supposed to do a thin layer and I'm not very good at that. I tend to get too much is what I do. So, sorry. I do have trouble with it moving, but I don't want to be straight on my glass mat because I don't want to mess it up. So I end up Okay, let's just see what we get on this. Clean up. Clean up on all four here. Clean up the mat. I've been going to get one of those rubber things. I don't know what you call them. Um, that burnisher maybe? I don't know. But I've seen them, people use them, but I've never had one, so I don't know. Well, it's not awful. It's another layer, but I'm not sure I love it either. Okay, I would like, do I have over here, I have this. I want to find like um, kind of a rusty color, like this color. Raw Sienna. Do I have that in the bigger tubes? Let's just look. Copper. Nope, that's not it. Raw Sienna. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I like a little, I like a little patina-y looking. Let's see. I'm looking for like a turquoise-ish. This one's turquoise enough. Okay, so I'm going to try something here. Who knows how it will go. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Hopefully, if it comes out. Oh, sorry guys. Uh challenge of using up your old paints. Oh, there it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, there it is. Gosh, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I really felt so bad. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. This is even a little thick. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and kind of like blend this. That's what I'm trying for. And then I'm going to make, make a new something. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry. The middle school boy comes out in me often. Sorry about that. Oh, yoy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make it blendy, but we'll see how it ends up. got like a huge glop right there. Yeah, trying to get it off. There we go. Ooh, I'm liking how this is, I'm liking how it's looking right now. Let's see happens when we put a piece of paper on it. So basically making a background with this one. I do think I'm going to take a tag and just go around the edges a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Okay, well, I mean, we might do some more with that, but let's pull this up and see how it looks. Ooh. Ooh, I like that a lot. Gosh, I like that just as it is. Maybe a little black with it or dark brown. Okay, let's see. So, what can we do with this mess? I'm going to try and get up a little more of that if I can. Just love a little jelly plating session. It's just so it's just so fun and you never know what you're gonna get and you know I know there's all sorts of fancy techniques out there and stuff but I just like playing with mine. I mean seeing what I get. Okay that needs a little clean off. I wonder what it would look like on this. Um, and I think, what if we use like a little bit of gold to clean it off? I don't know, let's see. I don't know if that's enough or not, but I just love all the crummy pieces that come up when you do this. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's see how that comes up. I have no idea what we're going to get. Put that like that. Excuse my sniffles. Ooh, ooh, that made that really cool. See how much cooler that is than that? Let's do this. Oh, 
Okay. That's cool. All right. Let me see. What else could we do? Let's see. I better check my time. Oh, we are doing great. Okay. I really, I'm loving that. I'm kind of wondering, I'm kind of wondering what would happen if we put some turquoise with it. I'm looking through my papers for a second. This is a piece of coffee dyed that I used a mask on. This is a tree mask that I made out of hot glue. I need to show that. Um, somebody asked for that, maybe next Monday. I just kind of wonder what would happen if we just did a light coat of this. Just try and pick up some of those crumbs. I don't know, I just, I kind of love the, that raw sienna and some yellowish, goldish yellow and some turquoise. That's one of my favorite color combos for the jelly plate. I just think it looks so cool and, you know, it looks like rust or something. Oh boy. Ooh, that's kind of cool. There's hints of gold in it. Mm, I like that. Excuse me one second. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to sniffle through this whole video. It's so annoying. Okay. I mean, talk about weird color combinations, but... Interesting. All right. Well, that envelope's going to be kind of fun, I think, when it gets done. Okay. Maybe we, do we just need maybe a little clean off of the jelly plate? I'm going to try. This is some of the paper that I got from Amazon. It's on my favorite things and it's, it's, you know, made to look like it's kind of antiqued a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna use a little. My favorite really is light buttermilk for cleaning up. I just think it does a great job and I'm just gonna go straight on here. Let's see what we see what we get. I think I might be about done with my um, cleanup page. It's really getting pretty. Pretty, pretty. Ah, sorry guys. Got a little too rambunctious there. Come out. Oh, too much. Oh well, go for it, Gail.
So I'm going to do this page, but then I'm going to grab my, um, gosh darn it. I'm going to grab my tag too and see what happens. I wanted to get way over to this corner. And as far as cleaning my jelly plate, I just use, I usually use baby wipes and it's been just fine. It's like nothing in the baby wipe has destroyed the jelly plates or anything. Had them for years, so. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I love that. That looks cool. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see. Let's grab where, what did I do with, it's right up here. Okay, let's just press down this tag a bit. Oh, there's just nothing like a jelly pr printing session, I tell you. Oh, well, that covered that all up. That isn't what I wanted. <laughs> Not even close. Oh, well, that's okay. On to the next thing. Okay, one of the things I wanted to show you now that I'm all done with that. Let's see. Um... Let's pick a color. I don't know. Um, let's do kind of a, this is a magenta, it's called. Just a cheap acrylic. But let's put some of that on there. Let's see. I wish I could see better into my camera but I can't it's um behind the holder a little bit it's a different holder than I have for my journal station <clears throat> okay so I have these paper um they're paper dots I'm about to show you my brayered off too it's getting really cool Okay, um, these were something from work. I can't remember exactly what we did with these. But it's kind of fun to mask. Okay, let's see what that does. I've got this print that is, um, it's like on kind of on a oh I think there's a scrapbook paper that's grid and this is a spray so I have no idea how this is going to turn out but let's just try it and this should the mask should make the circles stay green but then the pink will be in the background theoretically Let's see what happens there. Ooh, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. And then, um, and then when we take the circles off, let's see. Might be okay on this one. 
when we take the circles off, oh, no, that won't. Let's see what happens if we rub it. Nope. Okay, so, but we can use those circles on something that we do, and they're painty too, painty and green. What color would be fun with that? Do I have a, is that a super light pink or, let's see. I really don't. My, my paints are a little, a little sad. Um, oh, I do, I have, oh, except it's not open. Oh, but I have this, okay. This is a Stamperia. Let's see what happens if we roll some of that on. And if we like pick up the, pick up the um, circles. You guys, I love being over here where my paints are and stuff. It's like, it's perfect. piece of paper and I'm just using uh, cheap copy paper here is all I'm using nothing nothing too fantastic Ooh, that's cool so that's the the cleanup one and I love that that's really fun okay um let's see this one still needs something and I'm kind of thinking about mark making of some sort let's use that magenta again for a second Um, I know I'm probably getting low on time. Got 15 minutes. That's good. Okay. Um, let's think about using this. This is, um, this is a... Uh, 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 needle point, needle point thing. And I love what it does. I don't know if I had enough paint on there, but we're going to see. If not, we can do it again or use something else. Mmm can barely see it. Okay, didn't have enough paint. This is the time when more is better. <laughs> when you're using it as kind of a stamp pad or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get a new, well, maybe we'll use this. Okay, now let's try it. Yeah, paint squishing, so it'll be, it should be better. Okay, I hope you can see most of that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lay it right in the middle, kind of. Press, I think where those white circles are should really kind of show up nicely. Oops. Paint's coming up off of it. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, that's better. You can kind of see the, the pink 
in the background. I love this thing for that sort of thing. Okay, so. Um, now we need to pick this up. Hmm, you know what I might do? Because I'm not in love with this one, I think I might just put that down there and see. I'm not pressing super hard because there's a lot of paint on there. I'm not sure that made it better, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh... Some are just destined to be ugly, I think. I don't know. We'll see how that. Okay, well, it needs something else, that's for sure. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Is there anything that needs, like this could use some light paint, I feel like. And then maybe it'll pick up this pattern too. Who knows? So I know I've abandoned my carry palette, haven't I? what we get if anything on here irregardless it needed to be lightened up so we'll just see ooh I like that better it's got another layer it needs more but let's see if I can pick up a little around the edges Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. Okay, so we've got like three, nine, we've got like a dozen pages over there that we're playing with. Okay, so let me show you this. This is the roll off page. Isn't that pretty? I love that. That'd be fun to just tear up for collage. Okay, let's see, I'll show you kind of some of the other papers I have that I'm not sure. Like this one has that combo that I love. Book pages. This one, this one needs something. Again, the combo that I love. That one's really kind of cool. I don't know. That one needs just something around the edges is all. Maybe we can do something with that. This one was a roll off. That one, I think this one needs some doodling and that's about it. I'm gonna leave it out. Um, This one. That one needs doodles too. Okay. This one needs a lot of something. That one's kind of pretty. This one has a ton of layers on it. I can feel it. Deli paper. That one's cool. I think that one just needs doodles too. <clears throat> Little pen work, if you will.
Yeah. So, and then I have some that just, they just have ink on them. And I was thinking they needed something else. So, anyway, that's it. Um, let's see. I'm wondering about a little bit of turquoise. It's got a little turquoise in there. <clears throat> oh, I have an idea. I don't know. We'll see. Might need more than what I'm thinking, but yuck. Paint goober. Ew. Uh. Okay. You can see I need to take some time and um, add water to my paints. Okay. Um. Do, let's do a bit of bubble wrap and see, see how we do. of framing this in bubbles is a good idea. Because I really do like the inside of this one. It was just that it had a lot of space with nothing. Yeah, I really like that now. Okay, we'll let that one dry. <clears throat> Let's see. Use up some more of this paint. It's kind of crazy how this, this can really help a print. And it seems like we all have a plethora of <clears throat> packaging these days, so pretty much everybody has access to some bubble wrap. There are tutorials on YouTube too about making your own jelly plate for pennies, that sort of thing. And um, I've never done it, so I don't know, but it's a thought. Oh, you know what I should have done? Let me just see. Okay, just keep adding layers. Okay, so do we need to do, we better do a clean off on this and call it, call it a day. Maybe I'll use this for some of it. Let's see. Let's just use the buttermilk because it's my favorite. Okay, 
I do think I want to see if I can pick up a little bit of that um, bubble wrap that's still on there with this tag, like right about here. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming along. Let's see what this does. This is a thin piece of paper. This is from a law book. And so it looks like I've jelly plated on both sides okay well that pretty well covered up everything else didn't it I wonder if I can pick up a little on the back too let's just see what happens Ooh, ooh! now that's pretty this still needs something else now okay um Let's use our envelope and kind of kind of pick up some stuff. Well, that covered that up. I didn't want it to do that, but that's okay. That covered that up. Didn't want that to do that either. Oh well, let's just go for it. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that needs more work too. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to clean up that afterwards, but I wanted to show you, okay, here's our two roll-off pages that we did. Love those. Okay. Hang on, I'm picking them all up. I won't show you the one that we just, just did. Okay, so we did this one. I really like that. I'm going to be done with that one. That one's done. This one, super pretty. I think I'm going to call that one done too. I just, I don't even want any um, design on it or anything. This one, we vastly improved. This one, I love too. This one... I'm going to call done now that the edges are good. This one I think needs to go in the doodle pile. I think I think doodles around there will be good. So that's the doodle pile. This one also doodles, right? This one needs more. I don't know what. This one needs more. Again, I'm not sure what. When those foam stamps come, that might be a thing, like on this one or something. This one, I think, has a lot going on. I'm going to call it done. This one, I don't know if there's any hope for it. And this one, I think we improved it, but it still needs more. So we only have like four that need more, so that's not too bad. And we've got our wacky little envelope, which is, I don't know. And then I do really like that. And then we did these two. This one I would consider probably done, you know, once it's inked and stuff. This one needs more. I'm not sure about that one. So we might put those in the need more, but this one I feel like is done. Okay, guys, thanks for playing today. It was fun. I do like my new little things. I didn't even get to try the square or the triangle. Didn't even get those done. But that's okay for another day. So thanks for watching. Have a grateful day. And we'll just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.